This is Michael with Unbox Things with the July 2015 arcade block. This should be a good one, hopefully. Um, if I remember correctly, the arcade block from Nerd Block doesn't have uh, themes for their blocks, boxes, crates. Um, so, you know, I really don't know what to expect out of this. Um, I think this is my second one, maybe my third one to come out of here. So I'm pretty excited to see what is inside. Um, all right, and let's turn this away and cut away from us. Okay, we cut this sucker open. Put away our handy dandy box cutter. And here we go, ready. And we open it and something fell out. Oh, it's the tag from Shirt Punch. Nerd block. So there we go, you see what's inside. This is the latest one from uh, whatchamacallit, Arcade Block. Let's take a peek. Let's see what we got. All right, Arcade Block. So, uh, in this Arcade Block, we have a t-shirt. And the t-shirt is... <laughs> that's that's kind of cute. dark side and it is star wars so you've you've got darth vader you've got the troopers that's pretty cool you know <laughs> supposed to be like one of those old scary metal death t-shirt things but now it's darth vader and a stormtrooper and you know, all right that's pretty hot all righty let's fold this up Uh, okay, next thing. Remember, this shirt is from Shirt Punch, our block exclusive. What else do we got? Uh, I guess, guess you guys saw this. Um, Markov from Evolve. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not familiar with this at all. I'm going to have to look this one up. I just probably don't play enough games to know what Markov from Evolve is. Alright, so I fail on that end. Uh, ooh! You get Omnom. Oh, what's this game? Cut the rope. So you get, what is this, micro figures. So you get an Omna micro figure from Cut the Rope, a game that you play from either the uh, Apple um, Apple Store um, or uh, Google Play. And you know, you just cut the rope and little Omnoms like, ah, nah, nah. and he eats candies. Wow, holy crap, really? This is an interesting arcade block because you get two shirts. The second shirt, Says caution. <laughs> wow. I have to check what this game, which what 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 that game is from. I want to say it's not Silent Hill, but I will double check. Get to the cheat card, which of course they put at the bottom. All right, in this. July 2015 arcade block. You also get the classic console cartridge coasters. They're shaped like old uh, N64, uh, whatchamacallit, cartridges. It has Mario and Luigi on it. You see that? Isn't that cute? Um, you get a little book. Coin up cross. No, it's not a book. It's uh, it's a CD. Another arcade block exclusive, Coin Op Crush. I am curious about this. Um, yeah, I have to see if anybody has that um, online or if they have reviews of it online. They also give you a comic book. 
Sonic Worlds Unite Battles number one. That that could be interesting. Um, hmm. And then finally, we got the cheat card. So the T-shirt that I didn't know about, uh, inspired by. Oh, The Last of Us. That's it. So I knew it was one of those zombie games. Uh, my friend Justin's going to think I'm a douchebag <laughs> for not knowing that. Um, Got to be honest with you, I have The Last of Us for my PS4, but unfortunately I haven't installed it yet. So, and I tried playing it once before on my PS3 when I when it first came out, and I have I, I got really depressed watching the um, opening credits, the opening scenes and whatnot. Um then I started playing. I think I got through like the first two, three hours of the game, and I just it really started to bum me out. <laughs> so the caution T-shirt is from um, the Last of Us, or inspired by Last of Us. Then you have the cut the rope. Okay, let me let me show these things to you as I talk about them. This is your cut. Ugh, okay. <laughs> this caution T-shirt is from the Last of Us, or inspired by the Last of Us. All right, and then according to the cheat card, we have the Cut the Rope Mini, Mini Namis. Then we have the Coasters, check those out. Then we have the, where did I put it? The Comic. See, I would I would read to you the descriptions on the cheat card. However, I'm wearing contacts. And I'm getting old. It's kind of hard to read such small print. Look at that print. It is so small. Um, okay. And then you have the... I will try to read this, though. DJ Organic and Mega... Mega Ran? Yeah, Mega Ran. Coin Up Crush. Nerdcore Legends, DJ Organic, and Murderan were... I can't read this. Seriously? <laughs> this is way too small. Lucky enough to grow up uh, with arcades. But these days, they're few and far between. Take a nostalgia trip with them with the exclusive album release just for arcade subscribers. Arcade Block subscribers. Wow. This is... Honestly, kids, when you get older... Reading, we're reading, reading eight point type is going to be a pain. And then the bonus shirt is the, the bonus shirt is the dark side t-shirt with uh, Darth Vader and the Stormtrooper. Um, they call it, they say it's a bonus shirt. I don't know if they'll actually tell you or if it's the same outfit. Every, every, um, whatchamacallit, um, off, out of every t-shirt, uh, out of every box. And then, oh, it is a, okay, they give you the Funko Pop. Wow. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna have to look, I'm gonna have to look up Evolve. Has anybody else played Evolve out there? I, I, I haven't, so I can't really tell you one way or another. So, um, Arcade Block for July 2015. How do I feel about this? Uh, you get the bonus shirt. It's, uh, it was a pretty good box. I, I enjoyed this box. Um, I think the inclusion of such a, a very nice, um, surprise as a second t-shirt, the bonus t-shirt, I think, um, threw me for a loop. I gotta admit, it did throw me for a loop. Because I was not expecting that second t-shirt. And I have ones just sitting in there. Well, hey, that's pretty cool. I enjoyed this. I wish I knew more about um, this Funko Pop. But I'm I'm positive there are probably collectors of Funko Pop figurines out there that will be like, Yay, I got a Markov. And, you know, more power to them. So there you have it. Um, was this a good box? I think this was a pretty good box. I think that you get your money's worth with this box. Um... How much does this box cost? Let me check online real quick. Um, the arcade block um, 
is about 20 bucks so you're spending about uh if they if if you if you do a monthly if you do a monthly for the arcade block okay it's going to cost you 19.99 for the box all right if you do a three month subscription it'll be 17.99 per box six months um 16.99 for each box and then if you do 12 month or, or one year subscription it's going to cost you about 15 16 dollars a month so if you did if you just bought this every month without any subscription um like plan uh, or automatic renewal um for you know like the three months here or, or you know if you buy it in, in blocks you're gonna spend about 20 bucks and then um the $19.99, if you do the monthly, if you just want to test it out, make sure that you cancel it if you only want to do the one month subscription or, or check it out. Um, it's free shipping and handling. So $19.99, flat. That's all they're going to charge you. Um, it's not like some of the other boxes, like a Loot Crate, which is going to be $13 something plus $6 shipping and handling. The, the arcade block uh was this was this was you know 20 bucks flat i think this was a pretty good pretty good this month i enjoyed it i i did not know what to expect because they normally don't have a theme for the arcade block and just to get two t-shirts and a funko pop granted i don't collect that particular funko pop i don't really know that game um i think if i were to just get this as a surprise for myself or something i think it was a pretty good deal so there you go, the arcade block for July 2015. Uh, I give it a thumbs up. Woo! Um, I don't really have a rating system for any of these things. Um, I give it four box cutters. <laughs> but uh, take it, buy it, look it, check it out. Check out the pictures that we'll have online. We'll take close-ups of some of them. Notice that we never take them out of the po uh, packages because uh, what I wind up doing is I never keep these boxes. I normally just repackage them and give them to friends or send them off to people who want them uh, I have a small townhouse I didn't, don't need all this stuff cluttering so. um, in any case this was a good box this was a fun box this is this restores my faith in arcade block and nerd block and the whole nerd block thing because sometimes you do some things that I just don't agree with um, and or, or I just don't like their selection for some of their themes and I feel sometimes ripped off yeah, generally, I will I'll admit it, I sometimes feel ripped off about it, but this one, this box was a good box, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, try it, Arcade Block, uh, part of the Nerd Block um, cadre of blocks. Go to Nerd Block, N-E-R-D-B-L-O-C-K.com. You'll probably find some, some places online that give you coupon codes to get discounts on your first box or block. Um... But yeah, give it a whirl, see how you like it, enjoy it, have as much fun with it as I did because this was surprising and I, I did enjoy the surprise t-shirt. So, Arcade Block, July 2015. Alright, take it easy.